All right, so what are we talking about today, Kurt? Free issue supplies. Is your blood boiling? Well, the, the phrase makes me cringe, but I think it really depends on how folks are running a, a free issue program. What does it mean to have issues that are on free issue? I don't know. <laughs> what does it mean to have supplies that are on free issue? <laughs> well, based on what I've seen most out in the field, free issue, it, it's when a facility has product. I mean, it could be fasteners, could be electrical components, gloves, safety glasses, I guess really anything, but they have it stocked in just various locations throughout their facility for anyone to just grab and to use. I imagine a lot of people have worked in facilities where this is common. So why is it bad to have items that are on free issue? You know, I don't know that it's necessarily bad. It, it just depends on, I guess, the, the goals of the organization. When it comes to free issue supplies, depending on the program, a couple things come to mind. The first is typically there aren't going to be controls in place, which means you have no accountability. So you're working to drive down the cost of the part, but that doesn't really matter if you're using twice as much as you should due to lack of controls and people just taking more than they need to complete the job. Uh, another issue, actually, I, I had a client who made parts free issue so that they didn't have to pay one of their employees to manage the inventory, which in turn saved them labor dollars. So sounds great, right? But who did they have monitoring those inventory levels? Again, they beat up on their suppliers to get the cost of the product down, but in some locations they were stocking too much, which meant they were actually spending more. And worse yet, in other locations, they had parts that would run out and shut down production, which lost production time, that's extremely painful and expensive. So, Kurt, I guess the I believe that the primary problem with free issue is that most folks don't have a program designed around it. They just simply they set it and they forget it. And when you do this, you lose visibility, you lose accountability, and perhaps most important, you lose data points, which those data points, quite frankly, is one of the keys to making your supply chain more agile. Free issue is beginning to sound like me with a bag of Oreos. So <laughs> if we've decided that free issue is something that we want to tackle, what can we do about it? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different directions we could go with this answer. I, I think it really depends on the needs of the client, because as a partner, I never want to offer a one size fits all solution. So I think that if you're looking to address free issue in your facility, I would start by partnering with an industry expert. That, that, that'd be a great starting point. You can then in turn challenge them to help you reduce your inventory and quite frankly, risk by simplifying. And when I say simplify, you're simplifying by just offloading the inventory management responsibility to them to own. Because as the expert, they should be skilled at maintaining optimal inventory levels and really helping their clients drive productivity through point of use stocking and just overall improved organization. Now, I guess when I think about faster moving consumables, then I'd turn to some form of automated supply. And for us, that would include technology like RFID, infrared, and scaled solutions, which I know they all sound expensive, but when they're done right, the impact to your bottom line is significant. And each one of those solutions, they, they work a little bit differently, but all three of them provide both sides the ability to view inventory status by location to help you automate replenishment and also to introduce an opportunity for you to reduce inventory with confidence. So your folks, they have access to what they need when they need it. However, you in turn gain more visibility and less risk for your supply chain. And, and, and you know, I guess a side note on that point, I, I met with a client who they turned to free issue when they really shouldn't have because their true need was visibility. They needed to have visibility into who was using what and where, and they needed control because not everyone needed access to the supplies. They just needed the right people to have access to the right su supplies at the right time. And that's where we actually recommended a different automated solution altogether. And we recommended vending because vending provided them the ability to track and control. And what's cool about vending, there's various models available out there from coil machines to scale lockers, which allow you to really dispense anything from gloves to expensive OEM machine parts. And your folks have 24 access to the items that they need. 
However, it's with you having the ability to track and control it all. So I know that was kind of a long-winded answer, but I guess where I'm going, Kurt, is that implementing these solutions or tools, if you will, they help. They help, but it's really the program that the supplier offers that's going to make the difference. Because as the expert, they should be able to analyze your usage trends. They should be able to make recommendations and really provide you with detailed analytics that can truly help you strengthen your supply chain. That's value. That's a partnership. And really at the end of the day, your needs and goals need to be what drive what you are truly looking to accomplish, whether it's some form of free issue program that's right for you or not. But chances are there's a way for you to elevate what you're doing and you need a partner who can accelerate your achievement of those results.